I'm Kern Campbell, publisher of the website goldendoodleadvice.com. Today, we're going to talk about two brushes to painlessly remove matting from your golden doodle or any other dog for that matter that deals with matting issues. I've had dogs for the last 30 years and a lot of different breeds will have matting issues. There is a lot of information on the web. It's just, it might be technically right if you're a professional groomer, but if you're just a regular old pet owner like me who doesn't want to see their pet hurt, enjoys the grooming process, these two brushes are hands down my favorite ways to painlessly reduce and remove matting from our golden doodle. Our golden doodle's name is Lexi. I'm gonna show you a clip in just a second of how we use these two brushes to painlessly remove some mats from her uh, front paws, from her legs, and how we brush out her fur to keep the other fur from matting. So with that, let's go to the video. So what we're doing here is we're using the wet brush. Hands down, this is the best daily brush, guys. If you don't have one of these, definitely need to get one. Go over to goldendoodleadvice.com and we're gonna show you exactly where to get these. They are the best. I stole them from my daughters um, and now we use them almost daily on Lexi and they make, I mean, just look at her. She's just laying there, relaxing, chilling on my daughter's lap as I effortlessly brush her out. And for a lot of her fur, that's all she needs is just the wet brush. I mean, look at look at her belly, look how smooth it's getting. Look at the back of her arms here, what's gonna happen when we use uh, the wet brush. Now I found some mats right on there, what I'll call her elbow, and I'm just kinda loosening up with the wet brush. And you can see, you know, brushing it both directions, doesn't really matter, just get it loosened up. But I'm feeling some pretty good mats right in here. So. I'll got the other rake look at this see now you can see it digs in i mean it, it's hard now when i get a hard spot i'll grab the base of the fur so it won't pull i'll grab the base of the fur so it doesn't pull you kind of see down in here there's uh, some matting and and she knows it and so i'll grab the base of the fur and then just kind of shake and work the rake higher again you can get see this rake over on the website goldendoodleadvice.com but this is showing you exactly how I use it. I just use it just to brush it out. I wiggle it back and forth. It's got serrated edges on the top. So as you wiggle it, it's cutting through those mats. See, and what our groomer was telling us is to use one of the metal brushes and sit there and more or less kind of tease it out is the way I'll describe it. I tried that, she cried and yelped so badly. There's just no way I could do it, but this way, you know, as long as I hold the base of the fur and just kind of brush it out as I'm doing here, she, I mean, look at her. I mean, this, you know, <laughs> Lexi's a wimp. She will cry and, and uh, yelp at just the slightest little tug. And she's just laying here as calm as can be, letting me do this. So good. Now I'm just kind of working deep down in to the fur. Working deep down into the fur, trying to make sure I get it all, do it from different angles. But I mean, look at that. There's all the fur that came out. Again, go back to the wet brush, work it, loosen it up. I mean, this doesn't pull at all. If you have curly hair, you need a wet brush. If you don't have one already, it's amazing. Now we'll go back over it a couple times. But you can see how much easier those blades are just gliding through. Now I just got a little snag there. I I've missed one. See, I feel it right there. So I missed one and she kind of, kind of leaned over and let me know that, uh, she didn't love the fact that it snagged. And so then I grabbed the base of the fur and just sit there and kind of work it out. I will tell you, I didn't use it here. I got to make some up. I'm all out, but on the website, goldendoodleadvice.com, I have a recipe for by far the best detangler spray. I think it's better than Cowboy Magic. Cowboy Magic's great. It's what our breeder told us to use. We used it for a long time, but it kind of leaves that greasy um, feel on the fur, and I didn't really love it. So I made some uh, homemade DIY conditioner. You can find that over at the website, goandoolavice.com. And with that, I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in and checking this out. If you would, if this was helpful, give us a thumbs up. 
Leave us a comment down below. Tell us if you tried it. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. Did you find a better brush than these two? Um, you know, we've used slicker brushes. We've used all kinds of different brushes. But for us, for our dog, Lexi, these two are the best that we have found. We hope you like it. We hope you find it helpful. Check us out over at goldendoodleadvice.com. And thanks for tuning in. Go over to goldendoodleadvice.com. We have a ton of articles about caring for your dog. It's not just golden doodles, but there's tons of dog information about any type of breed or ways to care for your pet. I hope you found this video educational and helpful. That's our goal here. Our mission is to pay forward the advice that we've gotten over the years, our groomers, breeders, rescues, and we hope you find it helpful too. So if you want to join along, go ahead, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below. Let us know how old your dog is, what type of dog you have, and hopefully you find this information helpful. With that, thanks for tuning in and catch us next time.